Hello, this is Billy Core from Home of Carolina Circle Mall .com. It's June 23rd, 2010, and today um, something particularly interesting happened on my Packard Bell today, as you know, which runs Windows 95. And I'm going to show you right now. Yes, believe it or not, this Packard Bell running Windows 95 from 1996 is actually on the internet of 2010. And it's not even dial-up either, it's high-speed, full-fledged Roadrunner service. How do I do this? Well, um, my good friend Jeremy Lowry, ULTB... W100 on YouTube, I believe. I'm sorry, Jeremy, if I got your name wrong. <laughs> he um, sent me this package today. It's a Linksys Ethernet network card that runs on Windows 95. And it has a copyright date of 2000. So it's, um, and it, and it was new in the box too, so kind of interesting. But anyway, yeah, uh, I have an Ethernet cable hooked up to it, so it's high speed. Unfortunately, as you know, um, it is kind of limited, so we'll, um, go to a couple of websites. First of all, of course, let's take a look at my website. And this is Internet Explorer version 5.5, by the way. <laughs> and while we're at it, even this website comes up fairly well. This isn't even a virtual computer, by the way. This is a real, full-fledged computer. No emulation whatsoever. <laughs> YouTube. And, of course, says my browser is no longer supported. Well, duh. Obviously, you cannot watch any videos on YouTube, but the home page loads fairly well. You can see, since I'm running in... 250, 256 colors. The thumbnails there look kind of funny looking. <laughs> so, um, what else we got here? And, um, I'm, I'm not going to show it, but earlier this afternoon I was able to get on Facebook. And I was even able to change my status message. Now, I did have to use the mobile version of it, designed for cell phones, to change my status message, but other than that, it worked fairly flawlessly. One more thing I want to show you. Um, believe it or not, I was able to get this browser on here as well. Oh, where are you? Okay. It's going to take a while, so I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm loading. I'm loading Mo Mozilla Firefox. Yes, Firefox does run on Windows 95. Now, this is a very old version of Firefox. This is version 1.5. The last version with Windows 95 support. I don't use um, Firefox on here too often obviously since it's so slow and it's mainly designed for modern internet. Okay, it's going to come up eventually, don't worry. <laughs> okay, I'm getting something. And there we go. There's Google. See, Firefox is very, very slow on here for obvious reasons. 
That's why I usually use Internet Explorer on here. Okay. Okay, here's home of CarolinaCircleMall.com trying to load on here. The pictures and graphics don't look as good on here as it does on Internet Internet Explorer. So if you, if by some miracle you have um, internet on your Windows 95 computer like me, um, I, I'd recommend going with Internet Explorer for your general browsing use. Now. If this were a newer computer, say uh, Windows 7, Vista XP or something, um, I'd say go with Firefox, but in this case go with Internet Explorer. But that'll just about do it. So um, this is proof that yes, you can get high speed internet on Windows 95. And it doesn't even have to be a virtual emulated computer. So this is Billy Core signing off on June 23rd, 2010. Goodbye.